tool use is a hallmark of human evolution, and it's generally assumed that tool use increased foraging efficiency of early hominins by allowing them access to high-quality foods. Stone tools, the only tools that we can still see today, allowed access to high-quality food. We know that the brain is a very costly organ. Bigger brains require more energy than smaller brains. Thus, access to high-quality food is a necessary condition for the evolution of bigger brains. Since 2003, my collaborators and I have been studying a wild population of bearded capuchin monkeys that routinely use stone tools to crack open very resistant palm nuts, nuts that have a very tough outer shell. Our field site is located in the state of Piauí, in the northeast of Brazil. A common assumption has been that to use is done because the food is scarce. However, years ago, we demonstrated that capuchin monkeys use stone tools opportunistically, when palm nuts are available in their habitat, and not when other types of food are scarce. Why should the capuchin spend so much energy carrying a stone to an anvil, rising this stone up to have then enough downward force to strike and open these amazingly resistant palm nuts? Why should an immature capuchin monkey spend so much time learning this skill? The contribution of tool use to foraging success was never studied through a nutritional analysis in any primate species before. I was in the field for more than one year and with the help of two field collaborators, I followed each individual from dawn to sunset for many days. We noted the activities of each individual such as foraging, moving, resting, socializing. And we also kept track of each food item ingested by the, the individual. This was not an easy task at all because very often capuchins disappear and the entire day was lost. Each food item was brought to the field station where the samples were identified, weighted and dried before bringing them to the lab for analysis of nutritional content. And this allowed us to quantify the amounts of foods and nutrients each individual ingested in a given day. Tool use increased net energy gain by 50%. Interestingly, the amount of food eaten did not differ between days on which capuchins used tools and days on which they did not use tools in feeding. This indicates that tool use does not affect diet quantity, but it affects diet quality. In days on which capuchins used tools in feeding, they ingested 7% less fibers than in days when they did not use tools. A lower fiber diet improves diet quality because it allows higher absorption of nutrients. In addition, by using tools, capuchins increase their daily intake of non-protein energy, that means the energy coming from carbohydrates and fat. In contrast, their protein intake did not differ between days on which they used tools and days on which they did not use tools in feeding. Tool use consistently increases fat and carbohydrate intakes and stabilizes the balance of protein and non-protein energy in the diet. The finding that protein intake remained constant across foraging days regardless of tool use indicates a nutritional strategy called protein prioritization, which is also found in contemporary humans. New insights into primate foraging and nutrition 
will unravel the impetus for the evolution of human diet and contribute to our knowledge on animal nutritional strategies.